it's Alex welcome back to another vlog I am at home and I'm just actually editing this very video and I realized that somewhere in between like transferring the footage from my camera to my computer I completely lost the intro of this video so here I am I just wanted to greet you properly and I didn't want to of course discard all the footage I'm just going to bring you guys along with me for a few days in Milan and I hope you guys enjoy uh, so let's roll the remaining videos and get back to the vlog I'm back. I finished my little task as planned. I got everything done in less than an hour. I am so proud of myself. So I just changed very quickly and I am about to head out and go downtown. I want to check a couple of stores, do a bit of shopping. I got a few orders delivered recently, so I am in the process of just putting together some outfits and creating like an outline for a video for you guys because I don't know if I'm going to do like a haul or more like styling video I think you guys prefer when I do like styling at least that's what you told me over on Instagram so yeah that's why I am just like gathering some more bits and pieces that I want for this like lookbook kind of a pre-fall fall lookbook and yeah, I need to just check out a couple of stores in the city. I changed very, very quickly into this very summery dress. This is like an old DVF dress that I absolutely love. I haven't worn it so much this summer, so I pulled this one out. We have such warm weather here in Milan, so I'm really like sad that I cannot wear like any fall outfits yet. And the sky is blue, so I just felt very weird like dressing into like dark fall colors. So this is kind of in between. It's white, but it has a bit of like darker details. Then I just have some like sneakers because I want to be comfortable and I will be walking. So yeah, enough rambling about my outfit. Let's get going. I need to grab a snack very quickly. This is my quick little snack. I just have some hummus from yesterday and then I also open this bag of chips i almost finished it already and these are the lentils and rosemary like non-fried organic chips i love this brand they have so many different variations they have one with chickpeas and black pepper which is so so yummy i don't know if they export and like how well distributed this brand is so i'm just gonna have a few more bites of this and then i'll probably also grab an apple and i'll head out the door so I arrived in the city and i get so disoriented when i'm driving i have no idea now which direction i should be heading i think I think I know, so we're gonna see. So first stop is going to be the Apple store. I want to go and get myself an Apple pencil for my iPad. I have my iPad for a long time and I don't know why I just never got myself an Apple pencil and they're so nice you can take your like notes, you can journal, just do a lot of like creative things. I also want to do some more like fun things with my thumbnails as well so that's going to be my first stop if i'm going in the right direction i think i'll have to grab my phone so i'll stop filming and focus on the road in front of me but yeah i'm gonna show you guys a little bit around it's such a beautiful day and i'm so so happy that i got out uh it's not like too warm or anything but it's just like really really nice and pleasant it feels like it's probably one of the last days that it's going to be so nice like this. I took a course here in Milan a few years back in a fashion business and I remember while I was studying this was my favorite spot to grab lunch. I love their sandwiches. This is like a sandwich place. They have really really nice sandwiches. 
You guys, look how pretty this fountain is. I believe they built this when they made the Apple Store. I'm not sure if it's their project or if it was like the city project. I might be now saying a lot of wrong information, but I remember this was built like later on. It was not part of the old square. So Apple Store is just underneath this amazing fountain. How nice is this? I just love the mix of modern and old architecture. So I'm all done at the Apple store and now I'm just gonna go and browse a little bit and see what's in the boutiques. But how pretty this is. Let me give you guys a little glimpse of Duomo. It's right over there. I think I'm gonna go and check some trainers. lemonade this is another local brand that I just discovered in my organic shop it's so nice and refreshing and it's like all natural with no added sugars so that's always good I'm so tired <laughs> I also realized every time I go like actual shopping I feel so pressured to buy something by the sales associates I feel like they are so intrusive and just I don't know i feel like sometimes they can be really a lot and i became such an introvert especially after pandemic i feel like i'm not ready for human interactions so i ended up buying one item but i really like it so i'm very happy that i got that it was really hard for me to say no because yeah the sales associates everywhere were just like Oh, but what about this? What about that? Don't you want to try this? Maybe try that. I wrote, this is so nice. This is so nice. And I feel very good that I managed to say no to a couple of other things. Whereas when I shop online, I have the possibility and just option to try at my own ease at home and just, you know, make outfits, uh, see how the items work with my existing wardrobe, etc. So I don't know. I think I'm just going back to online shopping.
and it's already 2 30. i thought i was at least one hour behind but it is 2 30. i have a handyman coming over in around like 30 minutes i think uh somewhere between three and four o'clock so i have like 30 minutes to make myself lunch i also decided that i want to eat at home i don't want to order or go out for lunch because tonight i'm actually going out for dinner with a lot more garlic and a bit less ginger but I'm going out tonight so I don't really want to be smelling a lot like garlic so I was just editing another video and I realized that the sun is going down so if I want to show you guys what I got yesterday, I better do it now. So yesterday I went to Sephora. I didn't vlog a lot yesterday. I thought I vlogged more than I actually did because my camera battery died and I didn't have a spare one with me. So I just want to quickly show you what I got. This one is super random, but I just needed some cotton pads and these looked really nice. They're quite like big and rectangular. I usually get those like circular small ones from the drugstore but these look really nice so i got these recently i went through all of my makeup collection and i got rid of so many items and i realized that i really don't need that many like eyeshadow palettes i don't wear that many eyeshadows but i was in sephora i was browsing around the makeup aisles and I actually picked up this one. This is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom. I already had this palette. It was seriously one of my all time favorite palettes because of its beautiful layout and beautiful kind of like well thought through colors. This is how it looks inside and the shades are just so beautiful. It looks a lot more purple on this picture compared to how it looks in the real life you can see like these shades over here on top look a lot more like purple and in real life these are just like cool toned browns and these are a little bit warmer browns and then these are a lot warmer and the only like purple shade is this one then this one is more like a mauve brown it is such a stunning palette it gives you such an easy way to create an eye look just by following a row so you can just like use all the shadows in one row and you know you're gonna have a beautiful cohesive look especially if you're not like super professional like me sometimes it gets a little bit complicated and confusing some shades look different like in the pen versus on your eye and then it's not like always so easy to create like a beautiful eye look without any mistakes if you are a beginner and i feel like these tarte palettes are so well made and just like thought through so it's very easy to create like a, a beautiful makeup look then another item from Tarte is the shape tape. I think I mentioned that I kind of like swapped and moved to the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer and I still use it. It's still my favorite, but I wanted to get another shape tape because I actually heard from someone that they reduced the amount of fragrance and that uh, it's a lot like less strong now. So I really wanted to give it a try again and let you know. Now when I look at it here, I think it's a little bit it's too dark it's really hard matching shades when you are in the store the store lights are very different from like the natural light i think i got one more makeup product where is it i got my first milk makeup makeup product and people have been talking about them for a while now i think at the moment they're not like super hyped but uh, yeah, I just picked up this tiny. This is like a mini version of their blush and like lip and cheek stain. 
and I didn't want to get like the full size one because first of all like the blushes I feel like they last forever and then also I just didn't know if I'm gonna like it I didn't want to buy like a full big product I love what they offer small like mini versions like this it's so cute and the color is really pretty oh there's like a cap there's like a plastic cap on top there's a lot of plastic <laughs> and the color is this really pretty peachy color I think it's very very flattering and I'm very excited to try it and it felt like very smooth and blendable I think it's going to work nicely over a foundation but I'm going to keep you guys updated when I try it then also from milk makeup i've picked up another smaller version of the product because again why not if i'm just trying it i don't want to buy like a full size hydro grip set plus refresh spray it's like a setting spray i would say and it says it's by face setting spray grips makeup and doubles as a refreshing face mist and i'm really excited to try this one the yellowish part is i guess the oil part so it's one of those that you need to shake and then you can spritz on your face let's try it right now i have some makeup and since it can work as like a refreshing spray for throughout the day it's perfect to try now please don't laugh but i like to like close my lips when i apply setting sprays just because i don't like having something spritz on my lips because i feel like i'm gonna eat it i like how that feels the mist was very fine and there is like no fragrance it smells it smells like nothing it smells like a little bit like chemically but not too much so it's not like there is not a lot of like smell to it which is really nice i don't like when setting sprays have a lot of fragrance because i feel like i'm spritzing perfume on my face so yeah it feels good let's see if it actually makes any difference i see like i have a lot of oil coming through on my forehead so i'm not sure what the spray did i'll have to try this as like a proper setting spray right after applying makeup so i can see like how uh, much difference it makes in terms of like longevity and just how it looks right after makeup and now i have two skincare products the first one is the inky list retinol i am looking for like new retinol i'm currently using the la roche posay retinol like for the face and eyes and i'm going to link it down below if you guys are interested i really like it i like the one for eyes because it's quite like uncommon to to find uh, eye creams with retinol that are you know like completely safe and non-irritating and i have very sensitive eyes and sensitive skin i can definitely recommend that product and they never ever irritated my skin even when i apply it right after like washing and cleansing my skin when it's very like sensitive and stripped but i wanted to start like experimenting with other retinol products i don't want to go immediately to prescription strength retinols because i'm not sure how well my skin is going to react i don't know if i'm ready for that whole like purging state when your skin is peeling and being like dry and just like i don't know i'm a little bit scared i'm gonna wait uh so far i want to just experiment with retinols that you can get over the counter and inky list is in a super affordable brand it's the best starting point for anyone looking into more like active ingredients targeting specific issues and like achieving specific results because it's so simple they have uh, products that are based on one key ingredient so it's not like overwhelming or anything and i think it's a great like way to start experimenting and trying out different ingredients and then finding what works the best for your skin so i'm excited to try this one i don't know what are the percentages normally uh, over the counter retinal creams don't claim anything in terms of like the strength this one says it has one percent ready star stabilized retinol and 0.5 percent gran active retinoid i will have to look into this because i am not sure what is this stabilized retinol compound but yeah it doesn't look like i mean one percent is normally quite strong so yeah i'm very curious to see how this works i'm also going to give you guys update on that and on my skincare routine in general and then the next product is the 
Junk Elephant Moisturizer. I heard so much about this moisturizer. A lot of people have been like praising it and using it. So I decided to give it a try. It is their Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. It says nine signal peptides pygmy water lily and it has ph 4.0 i'm very excited to try this cream that is it from sephora then i have another thing that i want to show you guys i got this in mail two days ago it kind of ripped the paper and peeked inside but i wanted to wait and like open it properly together with you guys because i'm very excited about this purchase and this brand uh so i got a new handbag a pollen which is a french brand that you probably have seen all over instagram i think it's a brand that is growing in its popularity and i don't know maybe it's an upcoming brand we'll see where it goes but uh, currently they have these most amazing beautiful very designer looking handbags for really affordable prices my sister already has one of their bags and when I was visiting I uh, borrowed hers and I really loved it so I decided to go ahead and order one for myself as I mentioned I've been seeing these all over my Instagram so I just had to try them and let you guys know are they worth the hype and whether it's a brand that you should look into I always find it so nice when there are some brands that are offering like really designer looking and like designer quality items especially like uh, shoes and bags because those items can be really really pricey but i really love when there are some uh, options out there that are a little bit more affordable because who doesn't like uh, something that's a little bit more affordable but it's still looking very premium very designer like and it looks like something that's been handcrafted and made with like intention it's not like a ripoff or someone else's design or you know just like a knockoff if you know what i mean so i'm really excited to try these bags with Without further ado, let's just open it up and let me show you guys which bag I went for. When you open the box, there's this really nice uh, tissue paper and there is like a card. First impression when opening this is just how luxurious and expensive it feels. It definitely compares to like a uh, designer experience. Honestly, the dust bag is a lot thicker and more luxurious than a lot of like super high end uh, designer dust bags that I have so that's a huge plus Ta -da! I guess some of you guys have seen this handbag as well on Instagram already on your feed or on Pinterest I absolutely love love this shape it is so unique and fun and just different I think they did an amazing job with this one the leather is very nice grainy leather and the color is beautiful like chalk uh, white so it's a little bit off-white it's a little bit darker but it has a lot of like cool undertone it doesn't pull on yellow whatsoever which is what I was looking for and I love the closure let's see how it opens so it opens just like so there is like a plastic uh, protector over here which i will remove so it can slide easier in and out but yeah this is how you open and close it and then let's open it again and then inside let's take this out Okay, inside is this beautiful lining. How pretty this lining is. You guys, I'm really, really positively impressed. The lining is so beautiful. The color is really nice. It goes very well with this white and it's like a canvas lining and there is a little pocket and there is, if you can see, there is this little magnetic closure here in the middle. So you have the magnetic closure and then the clasp over here and then the bag can be carried like so also in the crook of your arm and then there is this super cute little strap so this bag initially came out with a chain strap and i could have gotten that version but when i saw this one i actually preferred this strap i really like the knot detail i think it goes very well with like the overall shape and it's very like 
destructured but structured bag and I really liked how the knots are complementing this design and I also like that this one is actually adjustable you just slide these knots up and down and then you can get like the length of the strap that you prefer which is so nice and convenient you can also remove this i guess you just untie this little knot over here and over here and that way you can just carry it like without the strap or you can even like uh, add your own like maybe a chain if you want to uh, there are websites that are selling like really nice decorative chains for handbags for like luxury handbags so they're really well made and i think i'm going to uh check one of those and maybe order like a nice thick decorative chain that can just like you know drape around here let's see i'll see how i will style this bag overall guys i am really really positively impressed this is such a cutie i cannot wait to wear it i think i'm gonna wear it tonight i have to think of like the outfit i'm going for dinner later tonight i'm gonna bring you guys along uh that will be like the last thing we do in this vlog so i'm gonna show you what outfit i come up with and how i will style it but i think i'm going to carry this bag because it's just like so cute and i think it's perfect for this transitional weather i'm going to get back to work now and i'll talk to you guys a little bit later when i start getting ready for dinner i just got ready and i want to show you guys my little outfit for tonight the weather in milan changed so quickly so just a few days ago it was really warm it was like summer temperature and then today is the first day where it's quite chilly outside i just went out on the terrace to check but yeah it's pretty cold so i took out this super cute blazer that i love so much i am so sorry for the light in this room i don't know how much you can like see the colors but it's so cute it has like a green and pink and blue and white it's like very very nice blazer and then i have this knit dress from a revolve underneath and I cinched it in the waist and made it a little bit shorter because the original like length was somewhere around here and I don't really like that length on me. And then I have my new pollen bag and I also uh, paired it with these boots. I love them and somehow it turned out that these are matching. I wasn't planning on this but they are a pretty good match. It's almost like the same color which is always cute i mean it's like an old-fashioned way of dressing but when it happens by accident i don't really mind so yeah this is my little look for tonight i hope i'm not gonna be cold i think i should be fine because <laughs> the dress is knit and the jacket is pretty warm uh, it's like a wool blend it's really nice quality so i think i'm gonna be fine and yeah now i'm gonna get going and show you guys the restaurant the view is supposed to be really nice so i'm very excited it's my first time going there so we'll see together restaurant So I am back at home, obviously, we're in my bathroom. Welcome to my bathroom. 
I just came back from the dinner. So I'm going to close off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.